Christy. How are you? Make sure this is turned down. There we go. Hello, hello. Get some of this stuff out of the way. So, uh, hi Tracy. So I started because these take me just a little bit of time. So here's the rail. It's completely, uh, the foam is on. And um, I, uh, hi from St. Louis. I'm from Benel, Illinois, not too far from you. Um, and then I've got the one side done. It's on 10 inch poofs. So we'll do this side together. Hi, Jessica. So um, this is a, like a basket weave um, mesh. I got this from Sims when I was there for their spring floral show right before the world shut down. So, oh, me too. Happy that you could be here. So, um, I try and do 10, about 10 inch poofs. It's gonna be so cute. Hey, Penny. Thanks. Yes, well their request was pink and white, or yellow and white, or yellow and pink, so I just had them all, so that's what we did. So, hi Rach, long time no talk. So, um, I actually called Amanda, she's probably laying down, she had a migraine, so I'm like, I need you, I need you, because I just didn't think that this um, the one th uh, ribbon I had with it was making this pop and I had another um, ribbon and I'm like, you know, sometimes you just need somebody to say yes, no, maybe so, right? So um, I, I, I said, um, so I sent Amanda a picture and I'm like, if we need to FaceTime, we can FaceTime. So uh, this is for a headstone. But it could be used for a mailbox. But this particular one is being made for their mom. So, you agree, Penny? Yeah. So, I like to get it done and be able to call her and tell her it's done. I probably could have had it done a little bit earlier, but to be honest with you guys, I stayed up until 2 o'clock this morning just organizing because I have a lot of patriotic ribbon. I couldn't really see it. So, um, thank you. Um, so I just wanted to like spread some things out. So I spread out some stuff, looked through some of my mesh, you know, just things that needed to be done so I could see what I needed, <laughs> to be honest. Um, uh, the ties, um, I ordered a big round thing. It comes like, it come like this, um, but normally, I buy them already on and I'm going to continue to buy them on because um, it just it works better it's not worth it it's not worth the, the time that it takes to get it to stay on there those are really stiff I, I wouldn't mind having those because it might not be bad to use this on a on a regular like Dollar Tree form so um, you know but I'm going to order um, I'm gonna be placing an order from Deco I think um, uh, because they've got some and they're like four dollars and fifty cents for a rail and uh, so I'm gonna order some of those from him now I went and got my mom's um, and my dad's I always say my mom you know my dad didn't care it was always my mom that wanted the uh, stuff on there so I went and picked up my mom's uh, Christmas one today and I picked up uh, Jeremy and um, Ken Ken's today too and uh, I actually the rail, I took everything off, so my mom's rail, I'll be able to like use again for my mom. I would never sell it, sell it, but um, but I can reuse it, so I don't have to spend more money on stuff for myself. So, oh, hi Lillian, how are you? So anyway, so so I got my exercise, I got my like points today for doing work because I moved a lot of brick from around the pool and. Um, around the old pool. It's gonna be one of them days. 
because I stayed up until 2 o'clock, you know. I need, my husband was supposed to build something for me. Clearly that hasn't happened yet, right? Putzing around. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. I agree with that. But if you don't know what you have, I have bought ribbon, you know, or not used a ribbon that I really wanted because I couldn't find it or I thought I was out of it. And then soon, sure as I get that wreath done, guess what? Guess what shows up, you know? because it's right behind one thing. So, I like to leave a little tails. Um, sometimes I fold them under, but I kind of like the wispy look of it sometimes, so. I almost used um, white mesh, and then I thought, no, it was too transparent. I didn't like it. You could really see through it. It was not the look I was going for. I don't normally measure this because I'm just looking to help add some fullness. So I just kind of eyeball it to how I feel um, it should be. You guys good? I hope she does too. Um, I think she was going to um, uh, put an ice pack on her head and just relax. So, yeah. I was happy she call, was able to call me though before, before she was and she was driving home. So, glad we were able to talk a little bit and talk out my my crafting dilemma, my my design dilemma. I said I need you. <laughs> And if it was something it could have waited, I probably would have just been like, oh, well, I'm going to wait and move on to the next thing. But these people would really like to be able to put this on their mother's headstone tomorrow, by tomorrow. So I think they'll be really super happy with it. I love that. You see that? Can you guys see? Isn't that adorable? So I caught some people's um, YouTube lives today. Um, treat, uh, perfectly Imperfect, I was on hers. Um, I watched Johnny's today. Uh, what is it? Creative Designs by JL. Those are YouTube channels. Um, Rachel's is Rachel's Crafty Corner. Mine is, of course, Wreath Addiction RN. So oh, hop over and check out our YouTube channels and uh, press the subscribe button. Helps us out. And then you'll get notified when we download some videos too. So um, I am probably going to be, because uh, I have. I have a mailbox rail to make and a, uh, a mailbox swag and then another um, headstone piece, but probably going to just record one of them. So you guys will just have to watch out for on YouTube to see when it shows up. I love this mesh. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love the color. It's perfect. She said she wanted pastels. I think, I think I hit the head, head on the, the nail on the head. Whatever you say. See, I'm tired. I haven't stayed up until two o'clock in the morning for a long time. I used to do that all the time. For some reason, my body's telling me I can't do that anymore. If you wouldn't mind blessing my page, I greatly appreciate it. See if anybody, there's probably not too many people that are inside in Illinois. It is a beautiful day. So it was a good day to go out and work around the pool. Uh, my husband just ran up to Litchfield to Rural King to get another chainsaw blade, whatever. I don't know. 
so that he could continue to work on the outdoors. So, it's a little chilly for me yet. Once the sun's gone and the wind blows and it's chilly, I want to be around a fire when that stuff happens. So, um, and we don't have one of those going, so. So, isn't this hair frightful? I don't even know what to do. I'm praying that we can at least get partially open so I can get my hair done, but knowing me, I'll wait so long to get my, call to get my appointment. But I gotta get it cut. All right, so there's that. Isn't that a cute, 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 cute? I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, let's see if I can find something. Thank you. Nursing will do that to me. I know it. I used to work midnights. That always messed me up. It was always a bad deal. Okay. So, um, let me go ahead and turn this around. So, I'm going to be putting these in. I got these. This is like a year ago I got these. So, I thought this would be very perfect in here. What do you think? Do you, can you see them? They've got daisies on them. So there's pink and yellow, which is what they asked for. And then, um, I don't know, um, I might try and make like a bundle. I haven't decided, like make a bundle um, around them. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. So I do have some flowers, pink and yellow. Lots of pink and yellow. So we'll see. Hi, Arla. It's hot, 98, yeah, it's not that here. It did, I mean, it was warm, it was like 50, like when the sun's shining directly in on you. But, um, I may have to cut some more ribbon, it looks like. One, two, three, four. I know I'm gonna need at least one more of these. Maybe not, because I think I'm gonna put, this is gonna be the front, so I'm gonna put the bow over here, I do believe, so I think that's why I did that on purpose. So we'll see. So um, something I don't normally do is put everything together at one time. But um, these ties don't tie very tightly and I don't wanna keep just tying on top of each other. So I'm going to uh, kind of make a bundle. Um, let me see, well, you guys can try and get see how this works. So I was carrying a box <laughs> to come downstairs and um, I hit my doorway and I broke I think I broke a blood vessel in there oh my goodness one knuckle driving me crazy I moved all those bricks and didn't have a problem I go in the house and move a box to bring it downstairs and I break a blood vessel hi Connie drink some water yeah it did hurt So, pardon me. So originally I tried that ribbon and I just, Amanda and I both agreed that that was not the look I was going for. I didn't think it was either, but sometimes you just need a second opinion. So I think I'm gonna use it in the bow at some point. So. 
So what are you guys doing today? This is going to be um, a, a headstone piece for um, my co-worker's mother's headstone that she's going to be picking up tomorrow to take over there. See? That piece of ribbon doesn't belong. That was one of my trials, so let's get that out of the way. It's on a 22 inch rail. My poofs are 10 inches and I have three rows of poofs. My curls are cut at 10 inches each and there's two curls per tie on the sides. You're making face masks. Thank you, I appreciate that. They're needed. I have to do a couple of modifications on mine. Um, they kind of slide off my face, so my ho some of my homemade ones. So I'm gonna see if I can't modify them. I'm not a seamstress by any means, but I think I might be able to um, to modify them. That's what I'm hoping anyway. So I can make them a little tighter to fit around my nose better. So, cause then in painting, I bet you are painting, Rachel. All right, so I guess I lost two. I guess where I have four of these. I'll find it somewhere. Oh, let's see. Oh, well. All right, well, let's just cut some of this real quick. At least two. I don't know. I thought I was going to make a bow. So if I do, it'll go right in here. Yeah, what the heck. What the heck. Oh, um, I'm not doing anything. We're going to put a roast in the in the pressure cooker, and I'm going to rent, um, uh, I still believe that's part of what I'm going to do tomorrow, and relax. So, um, I may call my daughter-in-law and see what she's doing. We'll see. We're not getting together with anybody. Khalid's mom's still living, but we don't want to, you know... She's compromised, so we don't need to be around her. So, nope, it's still locked in for me. We had thought possibly about going to um, see some friends or have some friends over around a fire and just, you know, sit social distance, but I think we've all decided against that for right now, just for a couple more weeks, you know. So, um, we just have a really bad um, um, area of lots of outbreaks at a nursing home that's near, and it's actually where we do most of our shopping because we don't have a really big store where we live, so we have to go to like Edwardsville or Litchfield. So, um, and there's a big outbreak in Edwardsville basically, so just trying to not be where, you know, just trying to stay home. Oh, 
Well, that's cool. Yeah, I'm in the basement for my craft room. Me and Rachel were just talking about that. My husband came down here to tell me while I was on the phone with Rachel to tell me he was going to go to Rule King. And he's like, oh my gosh, you got the little heater on down here. And I'm like, well, it's cold in the basement. And Rachel is painting in her basement. And she says, I ain't going to lie, I got my heater on too. <laughs> so, you know, uh, we don't have the luxury of being upstairs where the light shines in and warm. <laughs> um, I'm from... Um, no, but my office is in Fairview Heights, and um, I'm from Beneld. So, and then uh, the f facility that has a lot of the patients that have COVID is in Edwardsville. So, and they have, they had 90 patients and 15 of them have passed away already. So, you know, that's pretty, pretty too close for comfort for me so so I'm just staying here I have nothing that's that important that we need to see friends for I miss them but sometimes spiders yeah I remember you saying that the other day that you were trying to do something and you looked up and there was the spider all right so here we go and I'm just deciding on what we're doing I really wanted to do a bow but gosh I really like it the way it is so let's just see. Let's add some of the, I have some more um, of these cut. Two more, three more. Um, I may add a couple ribbons back here yet. Let's do that. Oops. I am going to cut another ribbon for that one. So I'll cut some more ribbon and then I may cut a couple more pieces um, put on top. I don't know if I'm going to, I'm not going to put two, I don't think, on the top just because I don't want to cover up all the pink. But I just wanted to add a little bit, you know? So we'll see. I'm not going to put any ribbons on the top. Yeah, I'm about ready to shut my heater off. I'm getting a little warm right now. Getting a little warm. yellows yeah I have a uh, it's a mr. buddy heater I don't know if you can see it back here or not. it's a mr. buddy heater and it runs on a tank of propane in the bath. Um, well, I'm in the basement, so yeah, I'm chilly. I'm not now, but it's uh, the air is very cool here yet. It was uh, 50 degrees, but like I said, the air is very cool. The wind is blowing. Um, I worked outside with a sweatshirt on when I was moving all the, uh, when I was moving all the bricks. Let's 
going on? Why is that one not wanting to work in there? Hmm. Something's not right. Huh. See, that one must be a little spread out a little bit further. Alright, so we're just going to cut two more of these. Where are you? I'm in but I'm in Illinois. I don't have my heat on upstairs. It's shut off. So but down in the basement it's cold. Right, Rachel? What is Amiibo? <laughs> That is the name of the camera that I'm using to record on, Carol. Hi, Sharon. How are you? Louisiana. Yeah, well, that's probably why it's so warm there. <laughs> We're a little bit farther north than that. They stay in the bathroom. <laughs> as long as that's where they stay, huh? Okay. Uh, I was going to cut a couple more ribbons. So let's do that. This one and this one. It snowed in New York last night. Yeah, so you, you know, you've got... You understand what I mean. Yeah, I can't believe that. Um, you guys got snow in May. That's crazy, huh? deal with these hornets or whatever. Who knows what's going on with that? Oh man, yeah. Canada. Oh my gosh, and freezing. Oh my. I don't know if I'd like that or not. I, like I said, um, I have my heat on, but I think it was set on 63, so it never kicked on. Um, my, my husband liked to sleep with it colder. And I don't want to be up. And, uh, whoops, put that the wrong way. Um, I don't want to be up in a week and be cold. Killer hornets. Isn't that crazy? Is it true? And where did they come from? And how did they get here? <laughs> and have they always been here and now they've just decided to become killers or what? I don't know. I just think our world is weird. Weird, weird, weird. Oh, really? Snow in June, huh? That's before my time. Thank God something was before my time. Oh, wow. Yeah, my pool should be getting delivered the 21st. And then we, like I said, it's just an Intex pool. It's nothing special. I don't want to spend that kind of money. 
So, um, we get the legs sprayed with some Rust-Oleum. All right, okay, so there's that. Let me get these things out of the way. Let's see. Yes, I'm all alive. You're dead. Would you buy me another light? You want to come and say hi to Carrie's mom? She asked about you. Not today, but last night or the other night. She's under Elizabeth Bowers. That's Carrie's mother, Carol. We know her as Carol. There we go. Which one do I look at? This one, right? Well, that's the monitor, TV. That's the camera. Huh? Camera's right there. <laughs> oh, this is so confusing. There I am. So, later. let me see. Uh, is it is it like one that I already have? Like it's these? More like these over here, so you don't get that big glare like that. Uh, see, it's the tubes. Like the ones uh, I got out in the garage. Oh, uh, Rachel says, "Hi, how's my buddy?" Well, he didn't get arrested, so that's good. <laughs> he, how was your shopping? She said. He bought me a light. For Mother's Day. For Mother's Day. Carrie's mom must be off or she'll she'll come on a little bit later after you're already gone. <laughs>
His knee is better. He's doing much better. Much, much better. Alright, I'm going to stick it on its side and I'm going to cut some of these things off that are popping through. Actually, you know, before I glue these in here, I'm going to probably end up taking them back out. Let's see if we can, see if I can do this backwards. So this is the hugger part. So we're going to get this on here. First I need to cut the pieces. See, the foam is going to help hold that in, plus and then I'll have something to glue it to. Hi Carrie, hi Sandy, hi Anna. All right, so So I attach the hugger with mini zip ties. And then when they get out to the cemetery, um, they will pull these in to tighten it up around the headstone. Uh, we just got our pull from Walmart. And we had delivered right to Walmart. We're going to pick it up from there. So it saved us like $100 on shipping. Here. I better wait to do that to make sure. There we go. Yeah. I think I didn't. So this one fell off, so I'm going to make sure I glue that one.
I really, I don't know. Let's put some of these in here first. Hi, thanks. Thank you so much. I kind of like it plain rather than to add these. I love these flowers. I was originally going to split them up and put them on my mom's for the summer. I mean, it doesn't matter, but I just kind of like this being more of a daisy type situation instead of adding other flowers. What do you guys think? Hi, Johnny. I kind of like the simplicity of it. I still have to glue everything in. What do you think?
Oh my goodness. That hugger made my hands. you think who knows I really don't want to touch that stuff with my hands I'm gonna make a bow let's see I might need to run over and wash my hands real quick if I can't find my wet ones well I'm pretty sure Mr. Ryan's not watching. I don't know if it's you, Mrs. Ryan. Oh, thank you. So this is going to be for um, a co-worker's um, mother's headstone. I'll be right back. everybody okay so let's just get this over here for a minute and let's just see about a bow mm So what's everybody doing today? So I, I know Rachel's painting. Some people are making masks. Are you selling your mask or donating them? Not that it really matters. I was too lazy to learn how to sew it. I probably could. I'd rather make bows and wreaths and learn how to make masks. Donating. That's nice of you, Johnny. Some people, I get it. I mean, material's expensive, your time, you know. Um, there's nothing wrong with diversifying, believe me. Nothing wrong with it at all. Some people, you know, don't have the luxury of being able to donate. That's, there's nothing wrong with that. If you got the talent, you can make them. There's going to be a need. Somebody posted something that made me think. Um, I am Amanda. I hope you're feeling better. Um, like, do you think that someday, like, next to the hand sanitizer and the Clorox is going to be like just like a normal commodity mass I thought, hmm, the thought I don't know I've never I've never seen mask at Walmart or wherever they probably were there I just never really needed them there so I just never even paid attention you know so 
Hope you're feeling better, dear. Thank you for your help today. Get me out of my crisis. So. All right, so we got that one. reason my comments aren't all showing up I don't think I hear people I see people talking I don't know if I want this one here if I want to go ahead and go back to the daisy I just leave this one out all together I may just leave this one out all together I like it I just think it's not what I'm looking for for this one so let's see going to probably do a recording on a, one of the other swags or uh, things that I'm going to be doing later um, and then downloading it on YouTube. I, uh, I don't know, evidently I said something that I was going to be doing something but I couldn't tell anybody yet and that's been racking my brain because I sure don't remember what that could have been. So um, I don't know. I have no idea, guys, so I must have been sleeping. Who knows? Because I don't remember what it was that I said I couldn't say. Unless it was just the collaboration stuff. That's the only thing I can think of. Because I haven't really found any new techniques, I can tell you that. Um, I need to learn how to do that. Unique in the creek stuff, that's for sure. And there's another couple things I want to do with Dollar Tree mesh again, but that takes a lot of time to prepare Dollar Tree mesh. I know. I'm, I, if my beautician doesn't open soon, I'm going to be cutting my own bangs. I'm going to be, that's going to be a bad deal for me. Because every time I do that, it takes forever for her to get them to fixed right then because I have colics I don't know if you can tell I got one right here and one right there and so if I cut them too short they stick up and it's bad yeah I couldn't handle my bangs anymore and I knew I was going to be like having my head down and I just can't handle that so I'm like okay got out of the shower I told my husband we went to you know Subway to get our food and I said don't worry I'm not fixing my hair just putting some bobby pins in it so He laughed. I know it. That's what she gave me the idea. Yes. She gave me the idea. And I wanted to do something like that with, um, I have a little cowboy hat and it's pink. And so I wanted to do something like that for um, breast cancer awareness. I sure would like to sell my little cowboy, um, my little scarecrow cowboy uh, cowgirl hat thing that I did for breast cancer awareness and the other one they're still hanging in my shop mm. oh wow <laughs> well, I don't know brain's not working because I don't want I really don't want daisy on daisy but I don't want pink on pink either I don't know my brain <laughs> uh, are you sure it wasn't your dog <laughs> I love that picture that you posted with the dog in the bed that's 
Lucy hasn't been, been sleeping with me, and I think she got mad at me because she got out of the gate tonight or today, and she ran all over the yard. And I thought, well, if you thought you were going to sleep with me tonight, you're not because I'm afraid you're going to get sick now that you've been running all over, gallivanting all over the neighborhood. You just got a sale. You Oh, good. Good for you. I've had a couple, just a couple of sales on um, Etsy when I did my, my sale on my shop. That's better than nothing. I was happy. And then I sold the Toes in the Sand one. So I was happy about that. And then this is, of course, already sold. No, you want a sale. Yeah, so do I. Yeah, I I just, um, and actually the one thing I sold, believe it or not, was a Halloween, Halloween item. Guys, now's the time, if you have an Etsy shop, put your stuff on sale for 10, 15, or I put stuff off for 25% off, I think is what I did. Um, I mean, it's last year's inventory. What are you going to do with it? You know, I mean, I want to make more Halloween stuff. So, but anyway, I sold the Halloween mailbox swag. It was quite interesting to box up, but I did. So. And then, um, and now's the time to, like, put your Halloween stuff on sale. Put your fall stuff on sale. Put your Christmas stuff on sale. <clears throat> it's better to put it on sale, sale it, sell it, you know, don't cut yourself short by any means, you know, don't lose money, but you may not make a big profit, then you can get some new stock, you know. For one, sometimes I feel like the stuff that's in my shop, you know, that I could put on sale, I'm getting better at making stuff now, you know, so, I don't know, that's my thought. Oh no, <laughs> your puppy ate the sign, oh my goodness, that's awful, but funny, I haven't had that issue yet. gonna be a pretty big bow but most of this ribbon except for the daisies and the one on the bottom is 50 yard rolls so it's gonna need a big zip tie good thing you can I know I say that to my dogs all the time too good thing you're cute Because, like, let's see, what did I, oh, I printed my, no, my job gave me my W-2. It sat on this table forever, forever. And then somehow she got up to the table and chewed on it. I'm like, what in the world? So now I got to go print another one. Thank goodness we have a portal. I'm like, how, it sat there forever. Why, why did she do that? You know? I don't know. That's what I said. You love the big dot ribbon. I think I might just make this a loop. I don't know. Because there's not a whole lot to do here. Dun, dun, dun. I'm going to cut that 
kind of long because I might be adjusting that. I think the wiener dog tells the boxer to get it down and she'll chew it up. That's what I think. That's what I think happens. Before you tighten your zip tie all the way, you need to move your ribbons around. This is a pretty thick ribbon, or bow, I should say. Hi Dawn, how are you? So this bottom one's got three loops on it because I wanted it to kind of stick out a little bit too. So. then I'll get my glue gun and I will secure those things in there and I'll let that sit and then I will let Julia know that her stuff is ready. Now I'm going to relax for a while tonight. You never know, I may be on later. My husband's doing his stuff in the garage. Then I may come back down here. I got lots to do. In fact, my other shipment from Craft Outlet came in. And there's some fun stuff in that one, so. So people may want to see it. So what do you think of the bow? Lots of different ribbons. Lots of pink and yellow, huh? Hi, Marsha. He ate the glittery spider last fall. Boy, you gotta watch him, huh? So I'm debating. Sometimes if the um bow is going to cover up too much of that. I may take those two ribbons off and go ahead and stick them up in there because you can't see them anyway. So let's put them where they can be seen a little bit more. So let's just add them up here. Oh boy. Yeah, so far my dog has not, not on this countertop, ruined anything because there's stuff down here that 
falls on the floor or, you know, this that's the floor is where it belongs because I don't have any room. Uh. Let's face it. There's not enough shelving to cover all this stuff, is there? <laughs> these thing in. I'm still leaving the yellow in because we want that filler. We want that to be full. I usually wrap the um, pipe cleaner for the bow around the base of the of the swag of the and that might be too tight I may have to pull that out just a little bit because I don't want it to be smushed in there either I may have to add some um, some to it. So, and I do still have to cut the V's in there, but I'm gonna show you. Hi, Michelle. How are you? So, other than gluing it, it's complete. What do you think? I like it. And then, let's see. I will take my um, little doll here and I will turn these pieces because the white is fine to be showing. So. guys well thanks everybody for hopping on I've been on here a little longer than I anticipated of course even though I had stuff done these are big projects so even though you get some of your stuff done um, you know be prepared to either do it in a couple of steps or that it's going to take a while um, but I had quite a bit of my stuff prepared you know but then of course you change your mind you add things so um, like I said, these are big projects, so don't think you're going to sit down and th finish this in one hour. So I will. Penny, thank you so much for joining. I appreciate it. I am so blessed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Be watching. I'll be back. I don't know about today, but I may be back tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye, guys. Thanks.